Let's get him. Let's get him. Two mommy Stevens go. Yeah, well, I get that on time. Listen, how much have you had to drink? About a six pack. That's a little too much in it now. Let's do it. That's a big bastard right there, boy. Car flipped. Two people flew out of the car. Both hurt very bad. Sunday, you know what that means? Steven Seagal Sunday. And episode 10's title is A Parish Under Siege. Today we're responding to a call that could be serious about, believe it or not, rodents. Rodents? You call the police for mice? Imagine you're a police officer and you get a call, we got a rodent problem. And then they send Steven Seagal. Those rodents didn't stand a chance. Mr. Glancy, y'all got some nutrient problem over here? Uh, yes, sir. You come to the bank, you'll see yeah, the actual that. damage that they're doing. They're well, borrowing like underneath this embankment? And, and you see how just hunks of it falling off at a time? Yeah. That's right there, that pipe right there. This is where they're living at. Nutria are kind of a beaver-like creature. There's millions of them in the bayou, and they can be tremendously hazardous to the communities. They burrow under the levees, and uh, one of the reasons why Katrina was very, very devastating and the levees collapsed is because the nutria had caused so much erosion. So oh, come on, man. You can't blame these animals for what Hurricane Katrina did. Actually, maybe. Poor guys, man. They're just living their life, doing their thing, and it's like, it's your fault, man! It's your fault everything happened, dude! Because you're, like, burying under the ground! We've tried a lot of different techniques to get rid of the nutria, but there only seems to be one that really works. Several nights a week, we go along the canal banks and actually shoot the nutria. It's an I know, that better be in this episode. I want to see all these officers just shooting these rat-like animals. Nutria? It's called nutria? I don't know. It's an unusual way to do it. For the most part, we've been somewhat effective. Several nights a week? So more than once you go around shooting these rats? Wow, I guess it is a police problem then. But the trouble is because they reproduce so quickly, it's hard to, to just rid them completely, which we may never be able to do. Now I got a big old pot of Nutri Jambalaya on the stove there. <laughs> we just had some, thank oh, you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, what? Is he saying they eat it? Is he joking? They make a jambalaya out of them? I can't tell if he's joking or not. These folks and their concerns are very, very serious. It would be nice if we figure out a way to coexist with the Nutri and protect the community too. I mean, it's not just a matter of going out and shoot some harmless little innocent animal. These animals are causing major damage. All right, whatever helps you sleep at night, Mr. Frischianti over here. You shoot rats for fun. Just say it, man. I'll have more respect for you. Don't fun. shoot them, Nutra. I don't shoot anything that's, that's not shooting at me. I mean, I respect that he wouldn't shoot an animal, only shoot people shooting back at him. But at the same time, I understand an infestation and a problem. You gotta shoot it, which is fine. If they're ruining the ecosystem of that area, you gotta do what you gotta do. But Steven's got his morals. Fair play. Have a 20 eyes car flipped over. He's close to medical. We need EMS as soon as possible, man. Let's go take a ride. Car flipped. Two people flew out of the car. Both hurt very badly. Now the car's on fire. Oh my god. Well, damn, Steven, you better. Hurry up and go help with the stretcher and the fire hose and maybe the autopsy if someone passed away. Oh, I cannot wait to see how Steven reacts in such a crazy situation, you know? We've never seen something this crazy on the show before, so. There it is. They went around Fleming's curb. Yep. They take it too fast. Man. I don't like that at all. Really, Steven? You don't even like it just a little bit? You don't like it at all? That's a brave thing to say. Man, I miss his old movie lines he was dropping throughout episode 8. This, whoever wrote this episode script is shit, man. Get the writer from episode 8. Those lines were way better. Oh, jeez. We got a lot of chaos here. We've got a lot of people. In Eastern philosophy, we believe that the quieter you become, the more you can hear. In Eastern philosophy, we believe that... We believe that the quieter, the quieter you become, the, qui the more able to hear, the quieter you become, and more able to understand the situation. You gotta be quiet to be able to hear. John, we're here. That's why when I first arrive on the scene, I kind of try to take it all in and see where my team is most needed. Where's the other person that was in the vehicle? 
That's it, he just observed. <laughs> Alright, okay, what else? What else we got? She's got the uh, stretch here to spawn a lot. It's stable over there. They're not touching anything. They're not allowed to do anything. The real police and people who are needed are actually there in the scene. So they're just kind of standing around. They don't know what to do, like twiddling their thumbs. We've got a camera crew to make it even more chaotic, the scene. Hopefully they pull their weight and do something. How does one go now? He got ejected out of the car. Can he talk? Calm down, calm down. Wait, do we have, do we have two or three? Can he, can he talk? No, he can't talk. And the dude's like, Is that Steven Seagal? Is that Steven Seagal? What the fuck, man? Am I dying? Am I seeing shit? Three or four up with him. Three or four people in the car? Yeah, so now you got one here, one here. I don't know what other. Holy shit, there were more people in the car and they can't find the bodies. Oh my god, that's crazy. There could be one more person they haven't found yet. Did he tell you if they had another third guy in here? No, we haven't found any. But he's saying there was three or four people in the car. Hi, Ben. Well, if that's the case, I've been looking in these bushes. Okay, I mean, something. Go look in the bushes. It should be a small perimeter. How far can a body fly? Come on, Steven, I'm rooting for you, bro. Find the body. The force of the crash should have easily thrown anybody into the tall grass. Depending upon his injuries, we may only have minutes to find him and get him in the hospital. If the body hit the bushes, we'd be down. And the way that car is trashed, the body could have flown, you know, a little ways. Oh my God, imagine like the real police, they're trying to get rid of all this like people standing around and watching. So they just said, yeah, there's one more person. Can you guys go find the body? Look, yeah, just look all over up the grass. All right, they're gone. All right, okay, breathe, breathe. All right, it's okay. No, there's no Steven Seagal, you just see things. <laughs> Imagine they're just like children. They're like, yeah, yeah go find the, the, the missing person. Hey, Johnny, I don't see anybody over here this side at all. What happened? Is he all right? Do you know these people? Yes, they just left from the bar. So Can I ask you who was in a call with them? There was just only two. Only two people, For sure. Uh, was I onto something? Did they just make that up? So what, did the cops tell them that to waste their time? Or did they create a fake narrative to give them something to do? Ah, it could be the producers. Got you. I know, I know, I know these reality tricks. Yes, they're going to. Is he all right? Is he all right? Well, they're working on him right now. Absolutely. We're going to try to give him a little space. And then as soon as he gets better, they'll be able to talk to him. Are you sure there's only two people in the vehicle when they yes, left? I'm sure. And they didn't go anywhere sure. and pick somebody up? Because I'll work in the car. Well, they didn't come back. Away. And we've seen the cops pass by. We Back up, back up, back up. Get out of the way. Do your interview somewhere else, man. Why are you blocking the road while these guys are trying to do their jobs and save lives? Man, I, I don't often see a car that up, do you? Not that often, that's for sure. So the good news is we were able to determine there was only two people in the car. We know that they were coming from a bar, and we're not really sure if alcohol played a role in this or not. Flew out of the car, so they weren't wearing their seatbelts. Guys! If you're watching this, you better be wearing your seatbelts when you're in your car. It's not that big a deal. I'm really rooting for these guys. Man, I couldn't find no other people throw it out anywhere. All right, let's roll. Okay, so I guess, nope, no alcohol was involved. He must have been going really fast on that turn. But multiple broken bones in your neck, face, face. So I guess cheekbone, nose bone. Oh my God, that dude got wrecked. When I was in Asia, you know, I learned to relax by studying the martial arts and meditation. And over here, a lot of people relax by drinking, and we're okay with that as long as nobody gets hurt. We don't want any more accidents as a result of the alcohol. Y'all should meditate more after a long day at work, all right? If we get to it before they get out of hand, then we might prevent something that is worse later on. Why don't you park in the parking lot? Why don't you shut the fuck up, Steven? I'm trying to drive over here. Let's just see if there's anybody loitering or drunk and disorderly. You know what I mean? I think Steven's going for a little ego check. Let's go out on all the drunk people and make a scene and... How's my hair? Is it all right? It's good? Everything looks good? Oh, what did you put down over there? Oh, no, 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 don't go after it. You gotta either go inside or... I came out the bathroom, too crowded. All right, well, find some place to go. Not around here. See the sign up there? That means you can't hang outside. That's what. That's a good cop. That's a good cop. 
No, 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 don't reach, don't reach over there. Don't, 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 what's that? Don't reach over there. Whereas nowadays, what's that? Don't, don't reach for that! Don't reach, don't reach for that! He was reaching for something. Someone was reaching for something on the floor. When somebody's driving erratically, especially on a Friday night, there's a good chance they've been drinking. It's always a kind of situation that can turn into something very dangerous. I got somebody up there. Alex and him got somebody stopped over here. I'm gonna see what this is all about. I feel like we've seen this sh the shop, like they've been to the shop many times to arrest people and interrogate and talk to people. What is it around this shop? He ain't got no headlights on. Cerveza, cerveza, cerveza. Cerveza, para tu or para no, me? No, but yeah, para casa. Para casa? We come here to Somebody. buy some beer for the house. Looks like he's probably had enough beer. Be better. Hey, yo, Steven, what was that, bro? Let, let me rewind, make sure I saw what I think I saw. Yeah. Oh, Steven, get a little bit of, get a feeling bit of that cake. You can't drive? No, no, nobody. He can't drive either, because he can't I, even put the lights I, on. We need somebody to find out what you're going to do with this car if you don't want them to drive it. What is that? Peppers? Que esta? Senora. What is that weird, huge bottle of liquid? Alcohol? Even if it's alcohol? Let me look in here. What is that? I'm going to tell you in a minute. Stevens on the scene. Can't say stuff. Marijuana. Marijuana, pura. Marijuana. Marijuana? This, why you guy being so honest, dude? Why you telling him you got weed in a liquid form? What? Eat the marijuana. I wouldn't sniff it, Chief. It's like some kind of unusual substance that's actually inside the bottle. Some type of uh, whatever. Uh, we don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm with you, man. What? It looks like there was a liquid and then capsules of maybe weed inside to make it look like a drink. Dude, I think they would have gotten away with it if he just, Steven smelled it. He was tempted too. You saw him, he was like, Chief, I wouldn't do that. Chief, Chief, no, 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 no. Chief, put it down. Marijuana, like this. No, no, no. That's no, marijuana. No. 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 Mama Juana. No, Mama Juana. Palo, palo, palo. Cordon. Cordon. He's just repeating everything he's being told and the guy thinks he's understanding he's like Vada, pasada. And he goes, pasasa, pasada. i'm learning i'm learning a new language here they had two bottles of some kind of unusual looking substance on the roof of that car right there one of them is uh i'm not really sure and the other one is i really don't know what it is you know i don't see any marijuana in it. it's alcohol yeah marijuana. he it's said it's uh roots, herb, herbal medicine yeah bottle. it is we do this in asia larry Steven's coming to defend him. He's like, no, no, we do this, we do it. Wait, you said you don't drink. No, did he? We take all kinds of very powerful herbs and we mix them in with a very, very strong vodka. This stuff may have been used for medicinal purposes, but it also can get you very drunk. They said it's for your thing. He keeps doing this. Every weird ass medicine and holistic thing, it's always to get a hard dick. Come on, man. Are we past this shit? Good stuff. I wish I could have it. <laughs> Steven, like, what? This is good stuff, man. What's going on, bro? You gonna take it? Take a swig? Amigo, señor. La llave. No más. La llave. <laughs> oh, let's go. Well, all joking aside, that's a good thing we got them off the street. Sure was an unusual concoction or whatever it was. <laughs> they just gave them the keys and drove off, and they're like, hey, walk home. La cama, la cama. There you go. Later. He could have just driven back home. What's to stop him? Hey, what do you say we take a ride over to Western Spinelli Canal? I hear the SWAT teams out there hunting nutri. Let's go for it. Oh, shit. We're actually, we might see them shooting the rat. The nutra, whatever they're called. As a Buddhist, you know, I really don't believe in killing anything unless I really have to. Steven wants to talk to the major about other ways of controlling the nutria. While he does that, we're going to jump in a truck and take a couple of shots. <laughs> Steven's trying to change the captain's mind on how we do that. But until he does, shh, shh, we're about to go kill some Nutra. <laughs> Look at them on the back of the pickup truck like a bunch of hillbillies, man. We usually have a team of about eight SWAT team members. We have silenced 22 rifles, so it doesn't become a nuisance with the citizens in the area. These critters are devastating, you know, the homes where people have to live. Yeah. It's so very, very important that we maintain the integrity of these canal banks. Boy. Especially with the danger we have here with hurricanes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See all these big holes? They dig that. Yeah. They're causing major erosion. 
What's that on the bank to his left right there? I don't see it. Wait. By the pipe. By Thank the pipe. By the pipe. Thank you, Lars. One, two. Oh, man. Did he hit it? Did he get it? I don't know. I can tell. I've been in law enforcement for 37 years, and I'm a pretty good shot. But these guys, they're the best. Oh, Benny, don't show me up here, Benny. Miss it once. <laughs> shut up, Benny. <laughs> This is the only night I'm gonna ride with y'all the whole year, okay? I like when you come out with us, Colonel. It's fun to y'all can ridicule me. <laughs> we tried trapping. We tried shooting the nutrient. The first night that we went out, there were 14 trapped, and there were several hundred that we were able to shoot successfully. We have not found a more effective way. I personally, in the beginning, I thought, man, that'd be really great if you could trap them and, you know, throw them out in the bayou, but boy, you know, the trapping is just not effective. These environments are destroying the levee system, the roads, people's homes, and something's really got to be done. So if SWAT is going to shoot them, at least we're honoring the cycle of life by tomorrow going to the zoo and feeding the alligators with the uh, dead nutria. When life gives you lemon, you make lemonade. When life gives you nutria, shoot them and give them to the alligators. Or give it to that dude to make some more jambalaya with. You know, feed the whole town. We had a kill-free night. Fortunato missed two, and I missed two, and everybody lived. <laughs> the guy in the back's like, I hit 36 tonight alone. <laughs> What this guy is doing. Like in the original episodes when they did the Sherlock effect, it was like, there's the shell casing, there's some blood, there's a broken window. And now it's just like, just an instant replay of what we saw. Guys, you're getting lazy. Come on. You're better than that. Why are you driving? You smell like a brewery, you know that? You've been drinking your ass off. We'll kill somebody child out here tonight. They were swerving and driving erratically. And sure enough, we come up on them, and they appear to be very drunk. I mean, your driver's license. Probably. I figured that <laughs> happened to be in West Bank. You got an open container in here. Yes, the Sherlock effect there, even though it's kind of stupid, would make more sense. He ain't got nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing, man. I'm a ghost. Y'all can't put shit on me. I ain't got no driver's license. I ain't got no ID. I ain't got no mama, no papa. I ain't got nobody who loves me. I ain't got no friends. <laughs> How much have you had to drink, brother? Huh? How much have you had to drink? That guy is feeling Steven Seagal's full weight on him, on his back. He's got his hand. He's like, what? How much have you had to drink, brother? Huh? How much have you had to drink? Pretty much. <laughs> that guy, whatever he thought he was going to say in his head, it did not come out right. He just made himself look even more drunk. How much have you had to drink? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah, well, I get that all the time. Listen. Okay, Stephen ain't... You know, he's not pulling up with that shit. These guys put people's lives in danger by driving drunk. First of all, only Steven Seagal looks like Steven Seagal. If you see someone who looks like Steven Seagal, it's probably Steven fucking Seagal. Y'all drink it. But don't worry about that. Worry about going to jail. Ooh, slam! I think they probably just started drinking after they finished work. I'm not saying they're bad guys. I just think that they have... Uh, a little bit poor judgment tonight and need to be a little more disciplined next time. Who's at your house right now, man? My girlfriend. The truck belongs to her. She's I got a way to get over here? I believe so. I want gonna you to have... call in. They're going to let them go? They're going to let them go? She's got pulled over. 17? Is that 17? Yes, yes. 35, several battery. Also. No bueno. All right, wrap it up, man. You're going to jail. You got some warrants out for your arrest. He going to jail for warrants. What about him on the left? Gentleman on the left clear no attachments. The driver's feeling unlucky tonight, but he could have potentially killed somebody, and then he'd be looking at a heavy prison sentence instead of just one night in jail. One night in jail, that's it? I'm, I don't understand this. I'm sure you do. Right, Alex, let's go take a ride over there, Alex. Go get some bad guys, y'all. <laughs> He wasn't charged with the DWI. What the? What do you have to do to get charged with the DWI in this place, man? Holy shit! Uh, let's roll. 
This guy made a bad decision. He got caught drinking behind the wheel. I don't drink much myself. I feel that it clouds the mind. But if you're not thinking clearly... You were just talking about how you wanted a swig of that medicinal alcoholic beverage. Bro, what are you talking about? We're here to feed the alligators with the nutria that Swat killed last night. I myself have uh, refused to shoot the new chair. Yes, we get it, man. I said you're a good guy. We commended you. You don't have to fucking say it every time the nutria is brought up. Hello? Uh, officer, yeah, we have a nutria infestation in our house. Yeah, I myself don't shoot the nutria. Um, the SWAT team and other people. This is Steven Seagal, by the way. I don't shoot the nutria. The alligators are willing to eat what they naturally eat in their own environment. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's jump up. That's a big one. That's about a 10 foot, nine foot? Eight, seven, maybe a six and a half foot kind of crocodile. Yeah, Steven's got the eye. I like to throw one of them pieces of meat at Larry. I'm sure he'd go after it too. <laughs> Steven, you want to feed one? I actually think Steven doesn't want to do this. <laughs> he might be legitimately scared right now. You're close, you want to come in? How you want to do it? I mean, I'll come in, I don't care. All right. That's right. Now they're gonna, they're gonna follow the meat. So if, mm -hmm. you, if you walk backwards They're gonna with the meat, he's gonna come with you, so you just lead it wherever you like. Mm -hmm. Make him walk a little bit. Come on, we walk. Go. Go move, get a little exercise. Come on. Boy. All right, move it. All right, so it gets a little bit of exercise. There you go. Good job, good job, crocodile. Thanks for helping. Good, you listen too. Get it? He meant... It was, it was like, he was talking to Steven, not him. How we get him out of here? Can I borrow this real quick? Sure. Come on, buddy. All the way, all the way. Steven was cornered. How we get him out of here? All right, how do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? How do we fucking get out of here? But I'd really hate to have to uh, fight a 10 foot gator. I better back the hell up now. <laughs> All right, now. Thank, thank you. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you all very much. Thank you all. I can't tell if he was thanking and bowing the guy or the gator, because he wasn't looking at the guy when he bowed. I think you're supposed to look at the thing, you, the person you're bowing to. Episode 10, A Parish Under Siege. It was a bunch of nutria. We learned something new. I never heard about a nutria before, but there we go. We only got three more in the season before we move to season two. So if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this episode. If you want to stay tuned for future episodes, I upload Lawman on Steven Seagal Sundays. And next week would be episode 11 called Street Justice. Hit subscribe if you want to stay tuned for future episodes. Every Sunday, we got it coming. Forget those Sidemen Sundays. We got Steven Seagal Sundays. Way better. Later, alligator. Oh, for the episode!